Okay, we have this ear. This is an ear for the shelf that we put the bull nose on. Okay, there's the bull nose. All right. So now we gotta put a bull nose on this outer ear that I'll be cutting into this shelf. So before I cut this ear out, I'm gonna have to bull nose it. So I need to bull nose about. Eh, three inches maybe three and a quarter inches and uh, that's what we're going to do all right so part two of my last video YouTube really s screwed up in the download um, you got this this talking uh, where I'm at the end explaining the pad and what was going on and it was it was in the beginning of the video I don't know what happened something was overlapping something serious that day wires were crossed with the YouTube download I don't know so part two is really messed up but you can appreciate the work involved um, and how I got this to this finished edge that you see today all right and part two shows you how I achieve this okay and uh, that's a true bullnose that is about a, about a 180 okay um, and that's about perfect so that's what you want. I guess a, a true bull nose would is like a 260. But anyways, that's about a 180, and it looks really good. And uh, it's a little dirt they got on there. They're going to have to sand off with the 220, 320 even. But anyways, all right. With no further ado, let's do this. Make sure you take care of your lungs, guys. You can't beat these respirators. Okay, I'm using this clamp, but I'm also going to use this piece of carpet padding as a buffer. Along with the carpet padding I have here, underneath, alright? I'm going to use this fiber grinding wheel to see how well it's going to work versus the diamond blade I've been using to create this bullnose. This is a test.
Okay, I'm testing this out. What I'm discovering is it's rough. And uh, we're going to take a look at this right now. To see how it's coming along. I don't like it. The diamond blade, diamond cutting, smooth diamond cutting blade works much better. All right. I don't like how rough it's cutting. Although it's not terrible, I don't like it. All right, now let's look on the back side of this. See how it looks. All right, this was a test. And let's see. Okay, well, it's working. All right, but it's really rough. And uh, in order to get a smooth, you have to uh, use the tip of the blade. All right. The front, when you push it forward, you got to let the back. All right, but I'm not liking it. The diamond, smooth diamond cutting blade works much, much, much better on this. So. Let's, let's get this view. Where is it at? Got to get it. There we are. Okay. You can catch the side of it. Here you can see it's starting to round. Okay. He's getting the bull nose. But it's too rough. Too much vibration and that can crack your tile. Um, if it was granted it may not matter. But granite's not going to cut as easy, that's for sure. Alright, so I'm going to put on this diamond blade. And to explain real quick what I was referring to, when I was using the grinder, alright, I'm going to show you what I was doing, or what, I was, what I'm talking about here. Alright. When I was working the grinder on my forward, I was using the heel, all right, or the back side of the blade. I'm calling that the heel, the back side. All right, and then the front, if reference as a toe, all right, so front and back. So on the forward stroke, I'm using the back portion of the blade here as it runs across this surface right here. And actually, I'm catching about this much of, of the blade in the back of the grinding wheel. And then the same thing when I come back backwards, I'm using the front portion of the grinding wheel. All right. And that's a technique I'm using when I do that. Okay, I'm going to put on the, the diamond blade now. Smooth, finished diamond blade. All right, now with these blades, and you take this, you tighten it down, it's still going to spin, it's going to be loose. You need to put a spacer in there, all right, to make up the difference. And sometimes, depending on what you're using, you need to put one back here on the back side, all right, but not in this application because there's a ring right here that you can see that, that holds this in place, all right, that, that locks it in place, all right. Now, so this goes on top, all right, this washer, okay, I'm going to put two of them on there, I dropped this other one, okay, so, okay, I'm going to put the second one on, then I'm going to put this on, that tightened down, we'll be ready. And for those of you that don't know, you got a button here that locks it in place. All right, you just kind of spin it, spin the blade until you get it to push in and lock. Those are this is just for those that don't know. And you take and you want this firm. You don't over tighten this. Just good and snug. There you go. That's all you need. Okay. All right. We'll get started in a second. And again on the clamps, snug, not over tight. Just good and snug, firm, that's about it. 
Okay, just snug. And that's going to this plywood that it's sitting on. Okay, let's look at this up close and personal. You can see the imperfections, but you can see the bull nose, all right? I take those lines out of it, and it'll be smooth, okay? Now remember, I'm only going to use about four inches, three inches of this right here, all right? I don't need all this and getting cut out. But you got to do the whole piece from one end to the other, okay?
Okay, now that's smoothed out. Okay, now remember, I'm not even going to be using this. This is throwaway. I'll be throwing this section away. But you want it all smooth from one end to the other. Now I can start working it with the palm sander. Okay, now it's time to smooth this out. You see all those cut lines from the diamond blade, all right? We're going to smooth this out, all right? That's what we're going to do right now with the four, 60 grit sandpaper. take a sneak peek and see what we have accomplished those lines those grooves look basically smooth removed now to create more roundness on the bull nose okay I'm going to work that edge with this palm sander that will, that will give me more of a roundness okay for an overall better look all right, and this is how you do that. was up close and personal okay now you're going to see it all right now this way this gives you a nice bull nose finish nice rounded i almost go level at the bottom i've got a slight angle on it at the bottom and i don't touch this surface but i come real close maybe at like a three to five degree angle so I'm not touching the surface of this, but almost, okay? All right, looks like I need another piece of sandpaper. The Velcro wore off of it. And that was a used 60 grit, by the way. Now if you want to take down the roughness from your sandpaper, take another piece of sandpaper and scuff it. Okay, and you're knocking it down and you're smoothing it out. Okay, you want to get the whole thing. Alright, the other way you could do that is you stick it on your palm sander. Take your piece of pan, tape sandpaper, okay, and just go over it. You can turn it on. Okay, that feels fairly smooth, but yet rough, and that's what I want. Here we go. Hit it with some 220 and uh, we should be good 
Okay, it looks like I'm going to hit it with a 120. And uh, then I'm going to hit it. And again, this is too rough. I don't like how rough this 120 is feeling, so I'm going to take it down. Make it more like a 180. Maybe even a 220. That 120 is feeling a tad rough. And I'm out of 220. So I'm creating it right now. I'm going to do this by hand. Okay. You want to take the contour. Alright. As you see, I'm just taking the contour of it. And I'm keeping the, the sandpaper off of the ceramic finish. And remember, I'm only going to use three inches of this right here. That's all I'm using. Okay. Here's an ear that broke off. Okay, so I'm only going to be using this much of the tile. All this is getting thrown away. But you do the whole thing. Okay. That keeps your edge straight and consistent. Instead of trying to work just part of it. You're going to end up not getting a consistent edge. Okay, you want a nice, smooth, consistent, straight edge. And you want a nice, straight line here. Nice, crisp line. So we work the whole thing. And that's for those of you that don't really know, that have never done anything like this. Because this applies to so many other areas of construction and finish work. But if you don't know, you don't know. So I'm trying to fill you in. So those that do know, bear with me. Okay. I'm going to show you how nice this looks when I'm done. I'll get it up close and personal. I'm seeing a slight edge line right here that I'm taking out, okay? I may have to hit it with my palm sander, I may not. But it's right there. Like I always say, take the time to do it right, and you'll be glad you did. Now I'm slightly catching this edge, this ceramic finished edge. Okay, just kind of taper it and round it down with the bull nose as I'm doing this. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to hit that with the palm sander. I'm seeing something I'm not liking. It's not coming out.
Now you want to make sure that this stays flat. It's not twisted one way or the other, right? Flat and even. So it rolls just like this on the edge. That's looking pretty good right there. Now, I'm going to go back. This is this is kind of polishes it here. Cleans up any fine lines from the sandpaper. Now I'm just kind of catching that ceramic finished edge here rounding it over and smoothing it out so it all flows now one more time okay what's that oh, okay just all right now we've got this this is like a 320-400 here. Okay, we're just kind of... Yeah, I'm out here. So what are you going over there? When I get done doing this other side. You're not going to be back late, are you? Um, no. Now, if you're trying to come back in the dark and all that stuff, forget it, I ain't going. No, it, no, it shouldn't take that long out. going for an hour or something, huh? Okay. I came really to sit down in this chair. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, that's another one like this chair. Yeah. Okay, so let's get a up, yeah. close and a, up close and personal look here. Okay. Young. Young. There we go. You don't feel old, do you? There we go. No, I feel like I got thrown off a train. All right. <laughs> That's the finished product. But I mean, I, I like this chair, man. Yeah. All right. You guys do any Keep your eye on the blade and what I'm doing. The next video, I'll be cutting the tile, cutting out the ears, and then installing it on the shelf. That's. Number three, number four, that'll be series four.